So uh, today I will be unboxing uh, the Tecla Shield DOS. Uh, the first thing you will see after opening in the box is a quick reference guide. Uh, please take a moment to uh, read it as it contains important information uh, such as the names and locations of ports uh, and status lights status light indicators on the shield um, a, a three-step guide to setting up your shield for the first time and instructions on how to reach the Tecla support site in case you have any questions or require assistance setting up your shield. Uh, in addition to the quick reference guide your box will also include uh, Komodo stickers and of course the fully redesigned Tecla shield itself as well as um, a USB charging cable uh, which you will need to recharge uh, the Tecla shield approximately every four or five days uh, that is if you never turn it off and uh, as a side note um, the shield can be kept on and connected to your device while recharging so you don't ever have to be without access um, the Tecla Shield uh, has ports on both sides as well as two buttons at the, at the bottom. Uh, so on the left side we have uh, two stereo ports for connection to standard switches, um, you know, such as the classic uh, uh, button press switches. Um, we also have the wheelchair port uh, that can also be used to connect uh, directional controls like the four-way uh, joystick. Um, that is available through the Komodo store um, and on the right of the shield we have uh, the USB uh, port for charging the battery uh, there's also an, op an optional DC charging port uh, that takes anywhere from 7 to 24 volts and the power switch on the far right uh, finally the, bot the bottom of the shield has um, two buttons, uh, configuration bot buttons labeled plus and minus. Uh, these buttons can be used to change the mode of the Tecla Shield so that you can connect it to different, kind, uh, to different kinds of devices. These include of course iOS and Android devices but also PCs and Macs which is new for this version of the Shield. Uh, the Tecla Shield can be configured in one of six available modes. Each mode is represented by a different color so for example uh, when you power up the shield for the first time, it will start blinking about once per second uh, after, after a few moments uh, with a purple light and that means you're in the iOS classic mode so you can connect it to iPod, iPad, iPhone, iPad and iPod Touch and uh, to go to the Android uh, mode, I will use the, um, the switch here uh, you will have to press on the plus uh, button, press and hold and uh, this will make the status uh, light change colors until it finally settles on uh, green which represents the Android mode. There it is, the green Android mode. If you want to go back to the purple iOS classic mode then you press and hold on the minus button for a few seconds and the status indicator light will turn uh, purple again. And you can repeat, repeat this process as many times as you need to until you find a mode that works for your setup. Um, the quick reference guide also shows the modes that are available for use, uh, which are uh, the purple mode, um, iOS Classic, uh, which is the usual way in which you've, you've been used to uh, controlling iOS devices with the Tecla Shield, uh, relying on voiceover. Um, then, uh, as I showed, the Android uh, mode, green mode, um, which is used in combination with the Tecla Access app to control uh, Android devices. Um, then we have the blue mode uh, called App Control, and this mode provides access to apps uh, designed for switch access in iOS, PCs, and Macs. Um, we also have the iOS 7 mode, uh, which is a white mode and it takes advantage of the uh, new switch control feature uh, by Apple. Uh, the next uh, mode is four-way navigation, that is the pink mode, 
and this one is optimized for control of iOS devices using voiceover and this is by uh, users of directional controls such as you know wheelchair joystick or an external joystick um, and then finally we have the mouse keys mode uh, this is the aqua mode and this one is optimized for control of PCs and Macs uh, also when using joysticks now uh, we will be publishing more videos with details on how to set up and use each one of these uh, six modes uh, we will be doing that in the following days uh, but for now we hope that the process of powering up and setting up the mode for your Tecla Shield is uh, clear.